Hello, we are back in the tennis court. Uh, the last uh, video uh, was in Spanish. So about, uh, uh, we did a wonderful interview with Mario Rincon, the UM coach. Uh, so, soon we're gonna have that interview in English too. Uh, today is very, um, it's a great day for me because I was thinking, okay, how can I help? Because my goal, remember guys, is to help. Uh, you guys, coaches, students, to understand the game better and to, to you know, to have some ideas for your lessons. So the, the, the topic, I want to do kind of a series of uh, sharing all my secrets, all my uh, past experiences, forming players, making champions, uh, from the scratch all the way to college and pro. So uh, let me share with you my, my system, my method of teaching, uh, and, and you know, uh, once again, you heard this uh, so many times. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just showing what I do, showing you what I do. And you know, openly, uh, with, with open for, for comments, for uh, actually we're uh, having a nice announcement. Uh, I'm, I love to receive questions. I've done this in Spanish in the last video. Uh, opening kind of section with one or two questions per you know, video. I'm going to answer your questions. I'm very uh, grateful if you really do it. And, and, and I want to do it because sometimes people are you know, shy. No, oh, I don't want to ask that. They're going to look silly. Or no, please be open. Every question is well taken. I love it. Uh, any type of question, any type of concern. So please write me to my email uh, or also, you know, making the comments on, on, on YouTube. So let's roll the ball. I'm going to show you the secrets that uh, made me uh, in the past and actually in the present to produce uh, great tennis players. Okay, we're going to start first of all introducing the actress, the stars of the movie. Uh, please, girls, thank you for uh, coming this afternoon. Uh, uh, so we're going to show our friends uh, all the steps to become a better player. So introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Elena. I am 12 years old. I am Mia and I am 10 years old. You look nervous. Why? <laughs> you know, I tell them, feel free, relax. This is just the way it should be, natural. So, the, the idea in this secrets is about technique. How I develop technique in my players. They are, I will say, going to be intermediate players in, in their way. So, this is why I brought them today. You know, and more advanced players to show exactly the reality. Okay, so, so the topic will be how I develop technique in the early stages. So, and later on in other videos, we're going to introduce tactics, mental toughness, all the stuff that I, I was able to do with all the players that I coached. So, but today is technique and ball control. That's the topic. Technique, ball control. Okay, building up consistency for the future. Okay. Just, I have five steps, okay? Five steps to enhance. So this is actually a lesson plan, coaches. You can have a lesson with this. Eh? Eh, how many times? I do it almost every lesson I'm coaching them. Every time. It's not one time. You follow those steps as many times as you need to do it to enhance this. Okay, step number one. They know exactly what I'm talking about. So step number one is, I'm gonna explain to the, to the viewers, Let's go, put the, you know what is my step number one, as you know, it's very coordinated, they, they're a great actress. So step number one, we've done it before, you saw this before, oh Daniel, once again, you're good. no, wait, but uh, this is real action. So go ahead, do the, the shadow, and this is to me my bread and butter drill when I'm working in technique. I'm crazy about shadow, shadow in the strokes, so I'm able to really fix everything. Okay, uh, uh, I want to see, go ahead, keep doing it. Okay, I'm studying so many things. The, the, the racket position, the follow through, and, and, and the position of the legs. I want to see a little bit more flexion of your knees. Elena, be, make sure you push with your legs. Excellent, okay, so one fork and one back. And be a little bit more mobile, more active with your legs. There you go, running around. There you go, nice sweet. So why I'm doing this? Uh, I have questions about this. Uh, 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 first of all, I want to enhance proper extension. See, uh, uh, coaches, uh, be careful because I'm seeing so many uh, places 
that, that, that this. I mean, the kids, they get to the ball and they do this, the windshield wiper thing. Uh, uh, I don't think this is productive, good in the early stages. Later on, will be, but make sure they get some extension. I want to see the racket going through, and then the hand closes and you, yeah, everything is here. Okay, we know that, but please, make sure you put those balls so they get better technique and better uh, proper form. Okay, we're gonna move to step number two. There you go. Step number two, I'm gonna help you. I want the student, and everything, have you seen, I do everything from the service line. Everything from the service line. So you drop the ball, girls, let's go. Step number two, I want the student, the student to feed the ball, to drop the ball by themselves and to hit. Make sure you toss the ball in different places, okay, girls? Different locations, okay? There you go. Perfect, excellent. Now you switch side, as we spoke. Toss the ball in different places, forward, backwards, away from you. You don't have to toss the ball perfectly. Be creative, be creative. So toss, excellent. This is what I want to create. Uh, natural movement, awareness of the ball, awareness of the point of contact. Okay? They are creating their own movement, their own pace. Okay, one more time here, beautiful. And one thing I'm crazy about it, uh, uh, the left hand, the non-hitting hand and forehand. You see, something that I want to improve. Eh? It's getting better, but I see a lot of this, eh? or this. I want to see the hand across. See, I heard coaches saying, the left hand pointing to the ball. I will say the left hand goes across, parallel to the net, and then starts getting away, right? And then I want this, eh? catching the racket at the end with the left hand. I think it helps. Maybe in the future they will not catch it anymore, but to establish, you know, a good technique is better. Okay, so step number two, you guys pick the balls eh, by yourself and you practice. Beautiful, excellent. And then you need a little bit more. Okay, step number three. Step number three, I'm gonna go over there. Okay. There you go. We, now I am the one feeding the balls to the player. So, always, I want them to do it from the service line, always. First, to establish control, eh? discipline. So remember, get the ball inside the court. So, I, of course, I work with these balls too. Eh? The colorful ones, for mini tennis, quick start, all the, sophisticated games. It's mini tennis for me, honestly. I didn't want to change that. I'm an old school guy, mini tennis, playing in the short court. We don't, we don't want to come up with the ideas were too complicated for the students. Watch the ball, Mia. Okay? Watch your safety, honey. There you go. So look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop the ball with my hand. I'm going to drop the ball first. I don't want to feed the ball of my hand directly because she, they won't be able to read the ball. Eh? Ready? Go. So I don't want to tell him forecast or backhands. Eh? The traditional one forward and one back. No, I want her to really react to my feeding. There you go. Excellent. Like a real match. Next, follow through. Excellent. Follow through. See, I want. See, I don't want to create that uh, 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 rigid eh? teaching. There you go. Two, two, one forward and one back. No. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Hit everything cross court now. Everything across the court. Easy. One. Yeah, a little bit more shoulder rotation and hip rotation here. Yeah, I want everything perfect. She needs to rotate. Look at what she's doing. She's stepping across, doing close stance. It's something natural that she does. It's nothing he hugely terrible, but I need to fix that, of course. Yeah. Mia, make sure you open your hips and shoulders when you finish that fork and cross court. Open your hips and shoulders. I like that. Try again without rushing, don't rush. Perfect, beautiful. And a little bit more knee bend when you finish too, okay? One more time. There you go, one more time. Nice and easy, open your hips. Again, again, again. Get under, eh? bend your knees and you're gonna get under the ball. Beautiful, beautiful. Elenita, Elenita, go. Show me that forehand cross court, nice and easy, easy. Okay, recover, easy, don't hit the ball hard. Elena is very strong. She will have a very good pace, natural pace on the ball. I don't want to take that out. I don't want to eliminate that. But I need to teach her control, of course. 
and Mia will be more uh, probably a spin player. Eh? So everybody has different traits, different characteristics. We should be able to recognize that. As I said in other videos, as a developers, we need to really be aware of the, the things they do really well. Okay, step number four. Now we start with the rally. So I want to... I want to rally with them, both from the service line, uh, eh, 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 but with the orange ball. Eh? We have the red, the orange, and, you know, red, orange, and green. And then, of course, the regulation ball. So, but if rally, stay with me. Now we develop the step number four is the rally. One, Mia, you count, please. Two. See, I want the player in the back to count Three. because I want her to be concentrated and eh, to stay really focused. Back to me, okay? Six. There you go, easy dash. Seven. There you go. Go, 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 go. Eight. Excellent effort, go. So, Nine. back to me, back to me. You gotta play with me. You don't wanna keep the ball away from me now. Ten. Excellent. Stay with me, stay with me. Perfect. And you wanna develop, beautiful. Next, Mia, excellent. See, you wanna develop the habit of control. Of course, later on, I will teach them hit to the open court. But not now, now. Get the rally going. Share the ball with your friend, your coach, your partner. Mia, one time, please. There you go. Elenita, you count. Back to me, Mia, please. Back to me. I'm not as big as you think I am. There you go. One. Count, Elenita. Two. Perfect. Beautiful. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Step number five. Final step. Baseline. I want to use these balls, eh? Still, you know, the, the, the quick start or mini tennis, whatever you call those balls, eh, eh? We want to rally from there. One, go, 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 go. Excellent. As you see, I'm feeding the ball difficult. I want to make it difficult for them. Look at that ball. Eh? Excellent. Back to me, okay? One, watch my friend, the cameraman, Andrew. There you go, see, I want to keep them, I want to avoid this, the traditional beginner's lesson, intermediate. Ready? Go. Beautiful. Now backhand. Oh, great backhand. Yeah, it is great, but it's not real. So from the beginning, train your players what is going to happen, the real life on the court. And of course, later on I move to the regulation balls, but this is the steps to develop technique, solid foundation, beautiful form, healthy habits, control, confidence, because they're getting a lot of balls in place. Girls, joining me now, we're gonna say bye to the viewers, our friends. Great job, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Don't be shy. Hey, so, so you did a fantastic job, okay? And, 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 and you feeling uh, getting better, more consistent? Yes. Now? You, why? Why, why? What is making you more consistent? Be um, because I'm learning how to control the ball more often, and you're, you're, oh. and I'm remember you have to say everything perfectly. Right? <laughs> everything you say, no, nah, nah. So you're learning to control the ball. Yes. If you're learning to control the ball, are you having more fun on the court? Yes. Why? Because you can win matches. Let me have the microphone. Let's okay. <laughs> go. You can win matches more easily. Why? Because you have good form and... Good form. She said it. I love that. Form. Th this is the education that I want to put in my students. Control. Good form. Uh, winning. Uh, fun. Uh, excellent job. I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much. It's not easy to do what you have done. Yeah. Eh? Thanks a lot. Eh? Mia, give me five. Elenita. See you. Guys, I hope you enjoy this. Simple, of course, but effective. But be disciplined, coaches. Follow these five steps in your daily training for beginners, intermediates, and you're going to teach the best technique in the world, and your plays are going to be rock solid. I'll see you next time with more videos about how to build champions.